The AV-8B Night Attack Carrier has received an upgrade to its CCIP Continuously Computed Impact Point release mode. This gives us a few new options and abilities with the system and is a very welcome addition. First we'll cover Symbology. With CCIP release mode selected, we'll see the familiar layout to before with a vertical line leading down to the aiming cross. The difference now is we will see the cross remains on the HUD and appears as a dashed set of lines when the impact point is below the limits of our HUD, and you'll notice a horizontal bar, the reflected Q. Consider this a mirrored or reflected image of your cross if you were to draw it below the bounds of your HUD, with the centre of the mirrored point being the bottom of your HUD. The higher the line, the lower below the HUD your impact point is. The line will move downwards to meet the aim cross as you dive bringing the cross within the HUD bounds, giving you an indication of how far from being within the HUD our aim point is. When the horizontal reflected Q reaches your cross, it will go from a dashed line to a solid line, indicating that it is within the limits of your HUD and is now an accurate representation of the impact location. To perform a normal CCIP attack with this configuration you simply dive, place the cross over a target, and watch for the horizontal reflected Q to reach the cross. Watch it change to solid, and then press the pickle button to release your bombs. If you have no mark point configured when you press the pickle in CCIP mode, you will automatically create one on the location you just bombed. This is great for quick reference if you need to re-attack the same area. In addition, CCIP mode now features a temporary auto bomb release mode when using the dashed cross. If you press the pickle button down quickly whilst the cross is dashed, you will mark the location that the dashed cross is over. This also slaves the DMT to the same location. If you press and hold the pickle button, you will be transferred into auto release mode until you release the pickle button or bombs are released. You will see the symbology switch over to auto with the location that your dashed cross was over as the target point. This will remain after you have completed an attack or released the pickle button early. You can follow these cues like a normal auto bomb release whilst holding down the pickle button. This allows you to visually pick up a target, designate and perform a level or shallow dive bombing run without the steep dive required to bring the aiming cross within the HUD like you would with the old CCIP mode. This is a really useful addition for low level high drag bombing where it is common for the bomb cross to never be within the bounds of your HUD, allowing you to fly over a target in level flight and quickly visually pick out a target and drop your bombs. Remember that just like auto mode, when in CCIP with temporary auto mode, you will need to configure your armament control panel if you wish to release more than one bomb on the target, as multiple depressions of the pickle button in this mode will not drop extra bombs unless the cross is solid, and therefore within the bounds of the HUD, after you release the first bomb. This also means if you find that it's unsafe to perform the required dive, to put a solid cross onto target, you can rapidly revert to auto mode using the dash cross instead without the hassle of aborting and using the DMT to designate the target properly. My favourite use for this is high drag bombing of runways where you can really see how handy it is, allowing you to accurately target repeated points along the runway such as taxiways without the need for extreme dive angles or manually switching designation points with the EHSD or DMT. This makes the CCIP mode much more adaptable than before, and I'm sure we'll see a lot of use with high drag snake eye bombs in the future. If you wish to use this to set up an auto bomb attack on a target, but it is a long way off, it can get quite painful holding the pickle button down for so long. Instead, simply press the pickle button to designate, and then press the uncage button to toggle the release mode to the standard automatic auto release mode and perform a normal auto bomb drop, having to only press and hold the pickle button for a few seconds before the release queuing. 
happy hunting and take care.